Hello, it's Miko Sam Possible. Miko's my name is Taff316. Welcome back to another reaction video, and welcome to my tenth reaction to Would I Lie to You. So, I'm coming back to this show because I might be able to put it on YouTube again. Uh, the people who own the copyright in this usually reject copyright claims. Uh, however, they also own the copyright in Benidorm, and on the most recent Benidorm episode I did, they removed the claim. And then I remembered I had a Would I Lie to You that I couldn't put on YouTube that I uploaded back in December. Uh, so I uploaded that and filed a dispute, and they removed that claim too. Uh, now, they've done this before, and when they've done it before, it's been for like a limited time only type gimmick, uh, and then they stopped doing it, doing it again. So, on the chance, I'm just going to assume that's going to happen again, and this is, I have a limited window to get this on YouTube again, which is why I'm doing a new episode now. Uh, so, the episode we're doing it today is Series 8, Episode 3. Alright, it's been a while. First time I've watched the show this year, so. Have been a little bit. If you're wondering how I found this episode, I looked up best Would I Lie to You episodes. This is like number five. I All I know to. is the best part. The show where deception is the dish of the day. On Lee Max team tonight, the woman who is to Sue Perkins what Sue Perkins is to Mel Gedroyts. It's Mel Gedroyts! Hey! <laughs> A comedian who's been making people laugh for more than a quarter of a century. Uh, to put that in context, when he started, George Michael was straight, the Berlin Wall <laughs> stood, and David Mitchell's jacket was in fashion. It's Bob Mortimer! <laughs> Got him. That's the wrong with it. That's and uh, on David Mitchell's team tonight, he's the star of sitcom Citizen Khan, who came last when he appeared on Celebrity Mastermind. <laughs> it's that disregard for humiliation that makes him perfect for our show. <laughs> it's Adil Ray! At least he owns it. And, uh, he's a former member of Westlife, who recently spent three weeks in the bush. I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere, but this is a family <laughs> show, so work it out for yourselves. It's Kian Egan! That's the family show? Let's win. Well, we begin, of course, with round one. It's Home Truths. This is where our panellists each read out a statement from the card in front of them. Now, to make things harder, they've never seen the card before. They've no right, idea Bob's be what doing they'll this. be faced with. And it's up to the opposing team <laughs> to sort the fact from the fiction. Mel is first up tonight. I once licked David Bowie's cake just to be close to him. <laughs> David. Now, I would have thought that was not a good way of being close to him, but that was a way of being forcibly removed from his presence. <laughs> so how did licking his cake bring you close to him? Right, so, um, it was the 1980s. I believe you should it was be the jail. year of the Glass Spider Tour. Yeah. I a restless was woman now. <laughs> Waitress in a cocktail, in a cocktail yeah, bar. Yeah. <laughs> no. Not a Bowie song. Uh, yeah, I was going to yeah, say, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm yeah. no expert, but that's not one of his. <laughs> that, that much is true. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank nice. you. Nice. And... So, Mel, if you yes. were working as a waitress. It wasn't a cocktail bar, it was a cappuccino bar, because it right. was the 80s. So, I was working as a waitress in a cappuccino bar. <laughs> Hang on, was um, cappuccino popular in the 80s? Let's get this. Yeah, they came in in the 80s, didn't they? They arrived in Port Talbot a week last <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> anyway, I'm not quite uh, good looking enough, slash, slim enough to be serving at tables. Okay. Oh, right. Damn. Did they tell you this? Did they, did they say, I'm sorry, love, you, I'm sorry. No. I can't have you serving the customers, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have Just to hide you around the back yes. making the froth. No, pretty, pretty much. I was, I was a washer-upper in oh. aforementioned cappuccino bar. Now, massive excitement one day. I'm in the back doing the washing up. The word is spreading like wildfire. Bowie's in, Bowie's in, Bowie's in. I saw him in profile, sitting How did you see him from at the, the cappuccino bar because I could look yeah. right. through the door. <laughs> you were allowed. Occasionally. Yeah. All the customers went. <laughs> Occasionally, you could look up from the basement. Run back in again, yeah. manic. <laughs> Get back in the <laughs> top of Sprinkles pit. So, Bowie had ordered. Let's imagine. I think it was something like a sort of. Uh, a hot chocolate fudge slice, please, or something like that. Can we get on to the licking? Let's yeah. get on to the licking. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Friday night in my house. <laughs> I thought 
assault. <laughs> I'm not going to get to say hello to him because I'm not allowed to go out front and serve the man. Mm. So what can I do just to feel that I have entered him oh my God. in some way? Oh, my God. <laughs> not, not... I mean, just... Yes, yeah, so some of your him. DNA... I'm part ..has of been ingested by the great man. <laughs> well, what sort of lick? With, with, bearing in mind that this is very much a family show, do the lick no, for us. Plate. Yeah. Slice. Yeah. It would have been... I'll just try and get back in the zone. Yeah. It would have just been a... Look so it's just cat. a little bit. That's not what I cat. imagined, actually. Oh. I thought I thought you would go up and down it a couple of times. <laughs> no. and it was just, a, just a little a just polite a, just lick. A touch. It was it was full of homage and reverence for the great man. And, and then obviously it went out and I never saw him again. It wasn't long after that, he was hospitalized. <laughs> <laughs> All right, David, what are you thinking? I didn't believe this. It, well, it could be true, but... Uh, the, 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 you know, she started off as a waitress, then she became, you know... A washer-upper. A washer-upper. Yes. I think it sounds so absurd. That's a good point. She's been so random, I think there's an element of truth to it, personally. I feel so like it's true. what are you going to say, David? Is it truth or is it a lie? Well, one or the other. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think on balance it's a lie. You're going to say a lie? So, Mel, licking David Bowie's cake, is it true or was it a lie? It is a great fat true. Oh, oh, nice. I'm one for one. Yes, it's true. Mel did lick David Bowie's cake so she could feel closer to him. Uh, Bob, it's your turn. Was he still alive at this time? Because he might have been suing. The police once ordered me to leave town, unspecified, <laughs> because I was frightening the locals. <laughs> David's team, what do you think? Could you give us some context? God Bob? damn it. Um, shall I, I'll give you the name of the town. It was Castle Douglas. Ah, where is that? It's southwest Scotland. And why were you in Castle Douglas? Um, was it a what? tour or something? No, it was a long time ago. I was only um, 17, 18, mm. that kind of age. And uh, <laughs> a numerical age, that kind. Yeah. Ra rather than <laughs> iron or bronze. That's... <laughs> 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 um, I was trying. I was with two friends, trying to get as close to the Gulf Stream as I possibly could. What? What do you mean? You wanted to get close to the Gulf Stream? It seems such an I mean, appealing, far-off, mi miraculous thing. This you know, hot you... stream of water so near us that it was hard to believe in it just from the textbooks. But it's not like a spa. It's, no, it's a massive <laughs> flow within the ocean. Yeah, but you, could, you can't see it. Well, if you're at the Logan Botanical Gardens... Well, they there's a lovely view of the no. Gulf Stream. <laughs> no, no, but you can see the effects of the Gulf Stream. You know, it's like a tropical garden. So Knowing you, him, this is somehow, somehow true. The Gulf Stream. Even though <laughs> it seems like he's well, completely no, full of shit. I know all teenagers are absolutely mad on the Gulf Stream. <laughs> <laughs> they can't get enough of it and it's And flowers. Effect. But, um, this but is somehow going to be true. Amongst uh, many. But the p police of Castle Douglas don't mind the teenagers who all flock there <laughs> to admire the effect of the Gulf Stream. So, what was it that you did that, that put their noses out of joint? We scared the locals, apparently, yeah. because we were wearing very grotesque masks. Why were you wearing masks? <laughs> uh, if you're going to a gardens, why would you wear a mask? Ah, well, here's the thing. That's a, <laughs> that is, yeah. that's a perfect question. Yeah. The, um, have a, just before you answer it, have a minute. <laughs> 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 we, we were, we were travelling in a Morris Minor, and we were sleeping in the car, there was three of us. God damn it. Me, me met Harry Harriman and Steve... <laughs> Steve, Steve, <laughs> Steve, Steve, <laughs> <laughs> Steve, by the way. He was <laughs> still Steve, Steve, by the way. He was. By the way. He by he the was. way. <laughs> Steve, by the way, as in incidentally. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so, we, we had these... You're wearing these masks. Oh. We're wearing these grotesque... Why are we wearing these masks? We're wearing these masks because we, were, we didn't have anywhere to sleep and we were sleeping in the car. Right. They'd been given us by Harry Harriman's mum, yeah, <laughs> to keep us warm at night <laughs> because... A of the heat generator. <laughs> What, latex, <laughs> grotesque latex masks? Yes. <laughs> they were just old men's masks, but they were to keep us warm. This is somehow going to be true. Had a, had a, she she, she sold, sold these stuff from home, and she sold another thing, which was called a jobble top, yeah? Which was a bobble hat that went it, made it into a jumper. 
then the big bubble was at the back and it buttoned down the front. And that it's, was... I'm telling you now, right, if this is a lie yeah. and they end up saying lie, I will say to you, why did you make it more difficult for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> By mentioning the juggle top or whatever it was called. Because I'm imagining my sleeping arrangements and think, yes, we had the latex masks on <laughs> yeah. and these giant, like, what they're called, jobble tops. Right. Okay, they, I got okay, it. OK, OK, OK. <laughs> so, Snood. if you're wearing a sleeping mask and you're scaring the locals, like, no, normally the locals would be in bed when you're going to sleep no, and no. it's dark and you're in your car and you've got a scary mask on it, you know. No, we were just... A... On our drive, daytime drive from Dundee to Castle Douglas, with masks as on. we as we went past Keep people, your faces warm. we were staring at them with our scary masks. Why on. did you not remove? Because oh, I would say, yeah. from my experience of sleeping all night in a classic car in a latex mask and a jobble top, <laughs> that you get quite clammy. <laughs> <laughs> and so, in many ways, it's quite a relief to take the latex this mask is off. True. I don't for know the how, but it is. Drive. Yes, and Dave, not, we... not to mention how it helps being able to see where you're going. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no. Of course, we take the mask off in the morning, but then round about midday, you wanted to put it back on. Yeah. At what point did the police get involved? That's, isn't, didn't the police get We involved? parked yeah. up in, in um, Castle Douglas, right next to a shop, cos we wanted to get one of the famous Scotch pies. <laughs> As we came out of the shop, I was grabbed by a policeman, and it was a sergeant, by the way. Sergeant, by the way. <laughs> 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 Maybe it was. I'm a sergeant, by the way. I think <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Papa! So the sergeant... By the way. By the way. Yeah. By the way. He took me to the police station and... They so put, he arrested you? Yes, taken and put in a room and then the, uh, the sergeant and a, and a plainclothes detective came in. Plainclothes detective? What is you doing? <laughs> CID of that room. <laughs> <laughs> And then they said, you're going to have to wait here. We've sent for a specialist from Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, as we sat there, it came in and said, right, what's with the funny faces? They said, what's with the funny faces? <laughs> so what did you say? <laughs> well, we explained what had happened, that we had these funny faces, that we slept in them, and that we're terribly sorry to have caused any offence. So presumably then they, they released you? Sergeant, by the way, followed us till we're out of the city limits. <laughs> so that's my story. It's, it's true. <laughs> it's somehow true. What do you think? I know what I think. Yeah. What do you I think? think? I, th I think it's true. You think it's true? Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> not what I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kian, what do you think? I'm going to go untrue. OK, right? Kian, Kian's going untrue. Adil's going true. Oh. David? My initial reaction is that it's a lie. Let's say it's a lie. You're saying it's a lie? Yeah. <clears throat> Bob Mortimer. <laughs> Yes. Was that story true? Or was it a lie? It was true. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> Not even surprised. Oh, me twice now. <laughs> yes, it was true. The police did order Bob to leave town because he was frightening the locals. Oh. Right, uh, Kian is up next. <laughs> God damn it. The first time Westlife sang on top of the pops. Louis Walsh made sure we stood up from our stools at the right time by hiding in the crowd and waving a banana above his head. Please, team. Okay. What song were you singing? This is plausible. It was our first number one. Which was? Swear it again. Swear it again. Swear it again. I, I know it. I'm just. I'm just. <laughs> I'm sure you do. So you're on a stool. I'm imagining you're on a stool, so you're doing a ballad. Yes. Thanks. All, all the Westlife songs are ballads, Lee. Why did he not say to you? When you get to a key word in the song, all stand up. Why can he not trust you to but do don't, that? But don't you know that songs are extremely repetitive? Oh, I know yours. <laughs> 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 right, right. Oh. Make some work. Joking. Okay. Joking. Got him. Um, they were moving. I know, I'm they a massive West Lab. I'm not in any way saying I wasn't. I'm simply saying, why couldn't you stand up at the key word to the song? Why couldn't he say to you, oh, I see what you mean, because you're saying the same words over yeah. and over again. It's like there's a certain point that he wanted us to do it, but, like, I think the problem when it was for us is, like, oh, you know, you're so nervous, you're on top of the pops for the first time, and we were number one. In top, in top of the pops world, yeah. I remember they always had really trendy people dancing to make the whole thing look sort of cool. Yeah. Did Louis look... Was he dressed trendily? Did he fit in with the audience? Was he you, dancing? You would, it was, like, behind the camera. He was behind. Yeah, he wouldn't be in front of the was, camera waving a banana, well, was, well, would he? That seems incredibly I plausible, but it's probably a lie. he was in front of the camera lie. waving a banana. No, 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 no. Sorry, no. He wasn't because doing that. Because he wasn't, he'd never if do everyone that. can see the cue, you might as well shout, GET OFF YOUR STOOL! <laughs> that would do the same thing. 
But <laughs> how did he cover it in case you were looking in the camera rather than looking be behind the cameras? No, you can see a banana. You can see a banana. Yeah, exactly. Look out to the back of the crowd there, Bob. Yeah, if yeah. someone was to hold up a banana, do you think you'd see it? Mark, oh, there, there we are. are. Somebody, somebody is! is. Somebody is doing it! Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Why don't we try and recreate the moment? I agree. Okay? Oh, so yeah. here's what would happen. The sing, three of you sing. would go out front. Not yet. Oh, out I front. Think, and so lean. I'm not wearing any trousers. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd lean on the desk. And when I wave my banana in the air, yeah. you three will stand up Oh my God. together. Yay. On to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy it, David. Round to the front. Come on, lads. I think I should be in the middle. Oh, you oh, yeah, no, by all means. Oh, please, please. I, I will cede the Love captaincy it. for the... I um... did spend 14 years on the yeah. side, you know, at least I should yeah. be in the middle there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to wave the banana? I tell you what, the girl who's got the banana... There you go. ...wave the banana. <laughs> OK, so... Why does she have banana? Are, a newly formed Westlife with... You raise me up. <laughs> Oh my god. Watch out for the banana. Ah, uh, yeah, I am doing. You raise me up. <laughs> David's not even seeing it. <laughs> not even going for it. Well done. God damn it. Beautiful. Well. This is the most plausible thing on earth, and it's somehow going to be a lie. Was it true? I, Did you Louis know what? Do that? You know what you think? I'm not sure. We need to see it again. Yes. <laughs> yes. Maybe we don't have the time. Okay. What's Damn it going to be? Truth well, or lie? Bob, what do you think? Well, when I recorded my first shows I did on telly, my camera had a banana on it, so I knew what, so that I knew what camera to look at. So I'm thinking maybe. Do you think it might be true? true? Mel, I think it's a lie. Okay. It's I agree. Lie. You're going to say lie. Lie. <laughs> I'm worried okay. now. Pressure. Kian. Pressure. Truth or lie? It was, in fact, a lie. Ah, I knew it. It was too plausible. <laughs> yes, it was a lie. Uh, Louis Walsh didn't tell Westlife when to stand up by waving his banana at them. Our next round is called This Is My, where we bring on a mystery guest who has a close connection to one of our panellists. This week, each of David's team will claim it's them that has the genuine connection to the guest. And it's up to Lee's team to spot who's telling the truth. So please welcome this week's special guest, Richard. Hey, yo. Look at this dude. So, Adil, what is Richard to you? This is Richard, and we had to spend an entire holiday hiding from an angry Greek man because we got lost at sea in his boat. OK. Kian, how do you know Richard? Uh, I know Richard because, basically, Richard outbid me at an auction for a waxwork of myself. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, David, your relationship with Richard. Uh, this is Richard. Uh, he recently let me take control of his crusher and destroy a car. <laughs> <laughs> so there we are. Adil's boating buddy, Kian's waxwork winner, or David's car crusher. Mm. Lee, where do you want to start? Oh. Kian, shoot. What were you doing <laughs> bidding for your own waxwork? <laughs> well, put it this way, you know, in my house back, back in Ireland, I have um, a nice room full of, like, trophies and awards and stuff, and my, my waxwork was pretty decent. I thought, you know, why was not? It, was, it, was it Madame Tussauds? No. What was the waxwork? No. It was a place called uh, uh, World of Wax in Cork. In Cork. As opposed to World of Cork in, in... Wax. <laughs> <laughs> Had you ever seen this waxwork before? Uh, we'd seen pictures of them online and stuff like but that. But aren't you know, I right in saying like... that when you do a waxwork, they do you, they, you model for them, you actually... Well, if you go to Madame Tussauds, that's what they do. But, but in you... the waxworks of... <laughs> in court, in they court. just get a candle and a yeah, hammer I mean, and go, oh. This is like... Ah, oh, jeez, that'll do. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's get fine. Get another big candle and a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't said why Richard was bidding against you, is he sort of... He was trying to fan? get it for his mother. For his, his mother? mother? Yeah. Why, why his mother? Because his mother was a huge fan. Right, and and what price did it go for? Uh, I think about three and a half thousand in the end. Whoa. Three and a half thousand pounds? <laughs> I'm not being rude, but how much would you charge per day to go around to his mum's and just stand there? Because <laughs> I reckon 
For two and a half grand, he could have got the real thing for the day. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lee, okay. who else do you want to question? Adol, you're in Greece, you're on holiday. Where yeah. about, whereabouts in Greece? Um, Kavos. In Kavos? Yeah. OK, and you rent a boat, do you? Yeah, from the, from the Greek man. Right. Yeah. You go off, just the two of you? No, there's two other, two other guys. Four of you in total? Yeah. What sort of boat was it? Um, a, a speedboat thing. That, you know, you're going on holiday, you hire these speedboats. Yeah. Well, what, what went wrong? Well, um, the, the, the Greek man, he told us not to go too far, but, you know, being lads, you're on holiday, you have a bit of a laugh, don't you? So we were on the boat and we just went as far as we can. Which is out to sea. Out to sea, past uh, the boys and all Lord. that. What and the, boys? Not boys, <laughs> boys. Oh, right. ah. So, yeah, so we went out um, too far and um, we ran out of petrol. So, oh. yeah. Oh. Yes. So, it's me and uh, Richard and uh, these two other guys. Um, we're on there. Uh, we're Can on... we have names for the other guys? Uh, were... Can't remember, they're Scousers. We, you know, Scousers. Scousers Terry guys, and yeah. Barry. We were just... uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably. So, what, so what happened? You, you eventually so, got back. But well, eventually. But we, 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 you know, pitch black and then we got rescued um, by fishermen. We got towed to the uh, shore bit, yeah, and then we got there, and the uh, the Greek man, the angry Greek man, was yeah. an ang was angry with us. We, we couldn't understand him. He just kept on doing this to us. <sighs> that means your time's up, surely. <laughs> yeah, I mean you're dead. <laughs> Uh, Lee, what about, what about David's story? Oh, yes, David. David, right. David yeah. just remind us of I said that Richard, he let me take control of his crusher... Oh, yeah. Oh, ..and car. destroy a car. Right. Where was this? It was in London. How did it come about that you were taking control of the crusher? I was walking along one yeah. of the one of London's mm. streets and yeah. a football bounced out in front of me. You, can you imagine that? Yeah. Yes. You do know you're not reading the bedtime story on CBS, <laughs> don't you? Yeah, I know. You had a magical tone to your voice then. It was lovely to see. So the ball, <laughs> the ball has bounced out. Yeah, and I, uh, I, I, and I, I sort of looked to where this ball's come from, mm. and it's come from a sort of place where they crush cars, you know, a, a, a breaker's yard. So did you have the pressure of, oh, no, I'm supposed to kick this back, but I'll never be able to do it. Oh. I'll pick it up and hand it to them on a cushion. No, no, I was keen to kick it back. <laughs> and that, no, you... no, of course not. No. Yes, I picked it up because I thought, I'll, I will present it back to them like a vase. Well, the end of things, not to have to interact with it in a sporty way. Yes. And at this point, Richard was wandering out of the breaker's yard and yeah. I, you know, so, sort of yeah. awkwardly hand him the ball and he recognises me from television. Oh, big head. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Not television. And they, uh, him and his friends ask if they can have a photo with me because of my fame. <laughs> and I think beauty. <laughs> and so they, they, uh, they take a uh, photo and, you know, all fine. And then he says, would you like a go on the crusher? And the reason... He says, would you like a go on the crusher? Is he said, it would be a good thing to say you'd done on Would I Lie to You? <laughs> <laughs> and it occurred to me that he was right. right. And so he said, and it's very easy, the car got plonked in right. and you press the crusher button. And what ha actually happened? And it's just remarkable. Is it just like Jaws? I mean, I don't mean the film. I mean, is it like, <laughs> oh, that's like, is yes. it like that? Is that how it works? Yes, exactly. That's an epic moment in your life, I agree. That would be a big thing to be able to yeah. say. I'd remember it really clearly if it happened to me. Mm. I wouldn't even hesitate if I was asked the next yeah. question. I'd be able to say it straight away. Mm -hmm. What kind of car was it? <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a Citroen Picasso. Right. Mm. And what colour was it? Green. And how did you feel <laughs> as you crushed There was this something car. about the way you said that <laughs> where you're less committed to it before your brain had. <laughs> Green. So we need an answer here. Uh, Lee's team is Richard. Right. Adiel's boating buddy. I'm going to go with that. Ian's waxwork Adiel. winner. Or David's car crusher. Look, look at Richard's face. Yes. Mm. He says many things, doesn't he? Mm. But what he doesn't say to me. It's car crusher. crusher. Absolutely. <laughs> I think he's Adol's friend. He's Adol's friend, yeah. based on... They're neat. They're both neat. They're, They're neat. neat. They're neat. <laughs> Mel is going for, for Adol. Bob's going Adel. for... I'm going for Adol. Yeah. I am, me too. I'm going to go for Adol. I'm not going to argue with the team. Richard, would you please reveal your true identity? Hi, I'm Richard. Adol and I upset a Greek man when we got lost at sea. <laughs> <in the house. laughs> Thank you very much, Richard. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, I'm four for four, guys. Which brings us to our final round, Quick Fire Lies. And we start with... It is Lee. Uh. When my kids were younger, I designed a special system for remembering which Teletubby was which. <laughs> David's team. <laughs> OK. Um... Name the Teletubbies. Name the Teletubbies. Yeah. yeah. All right. 
You had uh, <laughs> Kean. Oh no, that's Westlife. Hang on. Uh, you had uh, Poe, La La, Tinky Winky, Dipsy, and Dipsy, and Stuart Sutcliffe. But he left before Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you know what colours each of them are? Oh, you bet. We've <laughs> <laughs> got uh, Poe, who is red. Poe yes. is red, okay. Yes. Uh, Dipsy isn't. Yeah. <laughs> Tinky, neither's Tinky Winky. Tinky Winky. And I'll say the same about Lala. Thank you. So, so this, the assistant so... of your kids was just to find out which one was red. No, but... Poe's the red one. The green one is Dipsy. <laughs> Lala is yellow. Yeah. yeah no. And uh, who have I missed? Tinky, 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 Tinky Winky. Tinky Winky. Uh, pur purple. But how yeah. do you know? What, what the system, how do you know that they're those colours? You said you had a system. I have got a system. Do you want to know the system? Yes. Yeah. Right. Poe. Yeah. Uh, I remember as being like a post box. So that's red. La La okay. sounds like yellow. Well, it doesn't, but it sounds more like yellow than Poe, Tinky Winky or Dipsy. <laughs> Tinky Winky, uh, I sort of have a visual picture of him. Uh, <laughs> a visual picture? A visual picture, yeah. Yeah, a visual picture of him with his willy out, which I picture of him as his little Tinky Winky. Purple. 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 Urgent and purple. <laughs> deep sea sounds a bit like the deep sea, which is green. It isn't, it's usually blue, but the deep sea is definitely more green than it is purple, red or yellow. Thank <laughs> <laughs> <Right> you. <here. laughs> I'm not sure about this willy thing, because in the end you were teaching your kids, weren't you? So no, I didn't say I was teaching my kids. No, he's teaching himself. There's one himself. thing my, my family never do, is we don't teach our kids anything. Yeah. <laughs> Before me, his father before him. <laughs> we haven't got where we are today by yeah. teaching each other yeah. things. <laughs> no, this was to just so help me remember because I would often say to the kids, pick Poe up, and the kid would go, loser, it's Lala. <laughs> The tragedy of this moment is yeah. that, as a result of this, I will now remember the colours. <laughs> <laughs> Thus proving yeah. the system works. Well, yeah, I mean, you've certainly got a system now. <laughs> I've got a system. I mean, I will remember Poe is red because yeah. of a post box. Yeah. Deep Sea is green because it's like Deep Sea, which isn't green but might be. Tinky Winky's got an urgent purple member. <laughs> no! La La is yellow because it sounds more like yellow than the others, I'm even though none of them sound like yellow. I will never be able to forget that. <laughs> Um, David, is he telling the truth? Sure. Uh, what do you think? I, you know, the, the thing that gets me is like, of course, the system is completely not only daft, but he's pretty daft. <laughs> and on top of that, <laughs> he didn't get any of it wrong any time he said it. He may just know the colour of the Teletubbies mm. without... Because I think the system, effective though it's proved to be, <laughs> is just something he's invented. For I think we've life. seen him invent it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's true? Uh, no, I don't think it is. I agree with you. I think he knows the colours of the Teletubbies. He probably has watched it with his kids, but I don't think he actually has a system. You think it's true? Oh, no, no let's not go down this road again. Yeah. <laughs> well, basically, I, I, <laughs> I'm going with you, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, just not you know what? Game. I think if it turns, if I go with you and it turns out you're wrong this time, the only time I go with you, then I'm just going to find that funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to find it, you know, for like the, the very end, like it's gone beyond tragedy. I'll say it's true now. You just laugh at death. <laughs> You're going to say lie. We're saying lie. Regardless lies. of Kian thinking it's okay. Yep. You're saying lie. They're All saying right, it's a lie. Confidence. Uh, Lee, was it the truth or was it a lie? It was, in fact, true. Ah! <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> calm yourself. Calm okay. I am okay. so merry. <laughs> That noise signals I went five for five. the end of the show, and I can reveal that Lee's team have won by five points to nil. God damn. But it's not just a team game. My individual liar of the week this week is Bob Mortimer. Of course it is. It always is. Yes, Bob Mortimer, who is what we call an excellent liar, or what estate agents call a beginner. Good night. Bob has really had the most interesting life on the planet, hasn't he? <laughs> I haven't watched this show in a while. But I remember enough to know that somehow that man is always telling the truth. <laughs> I don't know how, 
but he's somehow telling the truth. This was actually ranked seventh uh, in the best episodes. If you're wondering where I found this, uh, it's a website called Episode Ninja, uh, where the people on there uh, just rank uh, best episodes of the shows. And so th this was ranked seventh. There's actually a higher ranked Bob Mortimer episode. I'm not sure if I've done it, though. Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. The highest ranked episode um, is Season 5, Episode 3, with David O'Doffrey, uh, Catherine Parkinson, Louis Spence, and Bill Turnbull. Um, so maybe we'll look at one of those next. Uh, but that is going to do it for my tenth reaction to what I lie to you. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to put this on YouTube in the future, because again, I feel like I have a small window. Um, I should probably record those. Those, uh, those Ben Dorm episodes soon, to be honest with you, just so I can capitalize on that window. Oh, there's also a worst episode section. The worst episode is listed as the unseen bits of series two. And then the unseen... Okay, it looks like all the unseen bits episodes are... Okay, the worst listed episode with actual kid people in it is one with Joe Brand, uh, Rosen... Contra Kanati, probably butchered that, Paul Foote, and Ray Mears. That's listed as the worst episode with people actually in it. Uh, but that is going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch where I stream every single day, my second channel, Free Stinny Views, my Twitter, if you want to follow me, my Patreon, if you want to support me on my daily motion. All those things are in the video description down below, as well as the Twitch Vods channel and community Reddit. Thank you to all my Patrons who are currently named in the video description. If you're con support me on my channel, for those that know you can be Patreon on me for as little as $1 or £1, and you get access to reaction videos, as well as reading your comments up to date early, and your name in the video description as well. Uh, for all that being said, though, my name is Taffrey Steens. It's been my 10th fraction of what I lie to you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.